What's up team, Rock Guys? Jonathan Buckhouse here and we're back with another Snowboarder Reacts reacting to not snowboard slams this time, this time Snowboarder Reacts to Skier Slams and this one's gonna be funny because what's better than a bunch of snowboarders laughing at a bunch of skiers eating it. So I hope you guys are ready to watch a bunch of skiers eat it. If you're a skier, partake and enjoy as well. But uh, yeah, I snowboard for a living and I think it's gonna be funny to laugh and a bunch of skiers falling. So here we go, let's jump right into this first clip. I think that's copper. Oh, <laughs> it was like early season hiking, runs into a snowboarder uh, strapping in. I like, he was like, oh, it wasn't me. Backflip to the head, rough. Oh, these jumps look so scary by the way. And he got no, no distance, all air, no distance. Ooh. You can't tell me he didn't break both his knees. The double eject, which is the funniest ski slam of all times when you double eject. We got a white ribbon of death to dirt to, I think that was self-inflicted. I don't feel bad for you. Can't really see what's going on. Pow jump to, uh, oh, <laughs> buddy jumps on top of him. Road gap, let's go. That had to hurt. You gotta make the road gaps, guys, if you're gonna be hitting them. This guy looks like he knows how to ski. Oh, what? Double eject off the takeoff. How does that even happen? The skis went so high. Look at him, they're gonna come down and impale him. Jeez, that was crazy. All right, we got the double backflip under the chairlift to double eject. Dude, if you're gonna do it under the chairlift, you gotta land it. Oh, oh, I wanna hit a feature like that, by the way. This winter, it's gonna happen. <laughs> he deserves it. Uh, we got car dropping into, dude, he's like in full race. <laughs> what was he? I think that's all they were trying to do is jump into that tree. He was fully decked out in all gear. Just, he only has one foot. Only one ski. But like, it's not that impressive. Like, oh! <laughs> okay, that was, it's funny. I'm like about to be like, no, that's a, ooh. It's like the ridiculousness. Uh... <laughs> oh man, dude's getting bodied. We got a nice pow day. Looking nice. Oh, I've seen this clip before. He's going right off a cliff. See you, dude. Um, <laughs> worst nightmare, dude. Falling for like three seconds off a 200 foot cliff. Gotta know where you're riding. Okay, front. <laughs> what was that? It looked like a little, like, like a spring. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, he's still going. <laughs> Slow down. Man, going Mach 10 hundred. Double eject. Yeah, always gotta, like when you see a double eject, you always gotta say it. That way, like on the chairlift, your buddies all know. I feel like that was, Oh man, everything about that was deserved though. Okay, front flip to, oh, double eject <laughs> to face plant. Okay, speed racer to close line. That wasn't that bad. Look at those pants, they're so t <laughs> Because that guy's on a, those are, those are the um, way you walk. You know what I'm saying? Like the, you don't, you shouldn't be on a box with those, bro. Okay, we got, uh, <laughs> Oh, I blame the kid's parents for that one. <laughs> Let me follow you up, bro. Oh, man. He got some street shredding. <laughs> Did you see the ski hit him in the back of the head? That's so funny. Okay, snowboarder's blindside. Snowboard skier collision. Oh. <laughs> it's because he's little. He thought he was going to pull it out, and he didn't. He, you, guys, you guys saw it. A lot of back skier backflip fails. I feel like this could be whole montages on just that. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say other than ouch. Okay, we got a cliff drop. Oh, dude, he, what was that? Seven rolls? Comment down below, how many rolls was that? That was rough. Pond skim time. Ooh, so a pond skim has like, usually you could jump out of it. So by him falling right into the end of it was like him running into a wall, essentially. Ouch, that's rough. Oh, backflipping a knuckle. Skiers don't really do that too often. Oh, my biggest fear, like of, like if I was a skier, would to nut myself. And I, it happens often. If you're a skier, how many times does that happen to you if you hit rails? Rough. That was rough. Dude, that's like coming short on a backflip. That doesn't happen on a snowboard. The double eject. I always love that the skis go way higher than the person. Like, that's so funny. It's a nice pow. Ripping, ripping. He's gonna hit this person. 
Nope. <laughs> Tree. Not that bad. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh, went through it! You got some mogul. <laughs> Moguls to the splits. That looks like a janky rail. Oh! That can happen with a snowboard, too. Like, catching the bar and getting pulled back. Double eject. I don't know where this is, but this is... Oh, into the ropes! Into the... Is it gonna hit the old lady? No. She's just like, what happened? <laughs> Doesn't make it. Double eject. Double baggy? Should've went. If he would've committed double, e he went in the double ejected. Oh, I wanna ride snow like that. Okay, we got a backyard rainbow to, oh, almost a sack. This is Breck. Dude, this chairlift will just, <laughs> that had to hurt so bad. This chairlift wrecks people on a daily. That wasn't even that bad of a wreck. I've seen people get murdered. Cause I used to do a ticket scanner. I would scan tickets at that chairlift and literally half the, we would say half the fun of scanning tickets at that chair was watching people just get wrecked all day because you have like really good park riders and then you have beginners that ride up that chair lift and they just all day together getting wrecked and it's so funny all right double eject wasn't that special of a clip got a back clip to I, I knew it he hit a rock i was like there's more to this clip I need to stop claiming the clip before it's over off the rocks to oh <laughs> I guarantee he was not planning on that. Oh, how scary. That's the type of clip you're like, thank God I lived. Okay, we got snowboard skier collisions. Uh, I think the snowboard usually wins on those. Oh, to the back taco. Uh, oh, he landed it. <laughs> the homie did not though. That was awesome. I was so thinking the other guy was be the one to slam. We got a sack. Eh, no, not a sack, a leg. I, don't, I don't have no idea what's going on with that clip. It's hard. Some of these, <coughs> some of these clips are so old. This helmet falls off. What's the point of a helmet if it's not going to stay on? Oh, to the moon! Should have went double. Okay, nighttime shredding. Oh, missed the whole landing. Sleep. He went to sleep. It was nighttime though. It was the appropriate time to go to sleep at night. Tree. Trees don't move. Even small trees don't move. You can get wrecked. Park City. Sack. Oh. Oh, that was a huge sack. I think, is that a girl though? Is that a girl? So she can't sack. All right, to the moon. Happens, double eject. I want to hit a ski jump. Set. What is he doing? Just the tuck. No roll, only tuck. Double eject off the takeoff. Dude, signs versus skier kids. I'm sure that could be a video. Yeah, pretty common. Okay, we got a cork, a double cork. <laughs> Face first. When the head hits first is the worst. Skiing off the roof. What could go wrong? I mean, it's only uh, sh shingles. <laughs> backflip to belly flop. I think a lot of snowboarders think when they go for their first backflip, they're going to do something like that. But it's not that common because snowboarders kind of, I mean, I do wild, I always recommend them try to do wildcats first, which is like a sideways flip opposed to that traditional backflip. So that belly flop doesn't happen too often. Skiing in jeans. Oh, he put his skis on backwards and he's skiing in jeans. This is like every Instagram Jerry of the day uh, post that like favorite post. Okay, we got the little platter things. Those things wreck snowboarders thighs. Oh, the catch in the front of the rail happens to skiers too, guys. Got a wall. This is a Timberline ski resort in Oregon. He's gonna send it. Oh, what's happening? He's gonna get, oh. See, I'm trying to guess, like I'm like, what's, what's happening? And Let's just stop guessing. Is that the video? That's it! Skiers getting wrecked! How fun was that? There's so many things to react to on the internet, specifically in skiing and snowboarding. So if you guys have an incredible video that you think I should react to, even if it's just like awesomeness of snowboarding or skiing and stuff, like, I don't know, comment down below. Try and keep it within a 10 minute window so the videos aren't like 20 minute reaction videos. Um, but my email's down there. Send me the link. I'd love to react to a video. Maybe we'll do a... Uh, I react to, react to your guys' ski or snowboard clips. I have to have a specific email for that though, so please do not blow up the email that is linked down below with those clips. I'll like literally make a react to your clips email um, because we're expecting, we, we get a lot of those, you know what I'm saying? And we wanna be able to, to actually find them. So don't send your clips to that email. I will probably make that in the next reaction video. I'm having a lot of fun reacting to these uh, these clips. These videos are, are fun, they're different, and they're still enjoyable. And this is truly like me just watching YouTube videos in my studio by myself laughing. I'm sure 
Bobby can hear me. He's like, what are you doing? But uh, it's a good time. And if you guys do like them, make sure you smash the like button. Give me the feedback by smashing like or dislike and then commenting down below. Are you enjoying these videos? Should I keep making these reaction videos? Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. Not only do we premiere every single video and you can jump on all of our daily videos for 15 minutes, chat, chat with me, talk with me, everything like that. But we go live once a week in the winter, twice a week in the summer. You can come jump on a live stream, hang out with me, ask me questions. It's a really good time. So join the strongest snowboard and ski community on the internet. Also, don't get caught on the mountain without an evolution sticker. And if you're a skier, we got the ski versions for you. All of the merch, guys, it supports the dream. It lets me do this for a living, but also travel to all the other ski resorts. So snag some evolution merch and then tag me on my Instagram. And I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. And with all of that, guys, thank you so much for reacting to skiers eating it with me. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen. Feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliffhanger, yes. Hi, Mom.